as we recognize the power that there is in the name of Jesus, as we come to him, we recognize that sometimes we don't feel like singing about that. Sometimes our circumstances, sometimes our hearts don't feel ready to give to God that praise that he deserves. And so as part of our worship, we recognize that in light of his goodness, our brokenness seems more deep. The sin and death in our world can seem overwhelming. And that is why we come to God in prayer, to confess our sins and to give him both our joys and our sorrows. So would you join me in a time of prayer as we stop, as we pause, and as we turn to him because we need him and because he is capable. In this time, I'd like to invite you to, to go ahead and just to hold your hands um, facing up, um, holding things loosely to the Lord as we pray. And we're going to begin by praying a prayer of confession. So would you join me, just closing your eyes, taking some time to pray. I want to invite you to pause and to lift to God the areas of brokenness that you've seen in your life over the last week. Areas of impatience or frustration, maybe anger, maybe anger or frustration over something that you read or you saw or you heard or of a relationship that is feeling strained or maybe a fear that you are holding. I want to invite you to, as you hold your hands upward, to give those things to the Lord, to trust that he is capable of cleansing you of sin, to acknowledge that those things were wrong and to give them to him in stillness and in quiet. As we continue in prayer, we can give not only our concerns or our fears, our sins, trusting that God is able that he is strong and he is one who delights in showing mercy to his children. But we can also give thanks for the many ways that he has moved in our lives. We can rejoice in what he's done. So I invite you for all of those things, those moments of beauty, those moments of wonder and awe, maybe even moments of grief that have been sweet, times where you've had to slow down and see things. I invite you to give those to God now as you, as you sit there, imagining giving them to him as an offering, as a gift, recognizing that these come from him. There's also many people that we carry with us, concerns that are heavy in our minds and hearts, people we are separated from or people who we are not separated from who perhaps we are frustrated with. There are those who are sick. There are those who are struggling through the loss of work, through the loss of, of hope or of just life changes that are complicated and difficult. I want to invite you to picture those people as if you are giving them to God, as if you are trusting him to be enough. God, all of these things we give to you because we know that you are strong, we know that you are faithful, and we know that you are good. So we give you these prayers, these people, these concerns and realities, trusting that you are Lord, that you are kind, and that you are good. So we give them to you. We leave them behind, trusting you as a gift and an act of worship. We do all this. In Jesus' name, amen. It really has been a joy to see the ways that we can support one another in prayer. And so I do very seriously mean that you should take a moment just to fill out um, that Connect card and let us know how we can be praying for you. Uh, if there's particular people or situations that we can be a support to you. Um, I know that there are a lot of joys that people are experiencing in this time. The stories I've heard of people who are having moments with their children, who are having moments with their families that are uh, a gift in this time, uh, as well as moments of very sweetness in experiencing the nearness of God, even in solitude. Um, it's a great thing to hear those moments, and it's good for us to be able to continue to lift those to God. Um, so I encourage you to keep um, bringing those to us as we continue. 
Uh, we're going to continue in worship. And so as we sing, we recognize that God is the one who um, gives us strength to stand in him. And we can praise him because of how awesome he is. So let's continue in worship today. <laughs>